Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Paul. So today I'm doing some uh, pencil drawing, pencil sketching, uh, landscape. Well, derelict cottage. I uh, haven't done any uh, pencil drawing for quite a while. I did do a video on the Derwent XL graphite blocks. And I will be using those as well for this uh, drawing towards the end. These pencils, as I say, are Derwent drawing pencils. Uh, these are old pencils. I used to use them for uh, life drawing classes. And I haven't done life drawing classes for at least 10 years. So uh, these pencils are at least 10 years old. Uh, I should say I haven't been using them for 10 years. I, um, well, long story, but basically I used to do art and then for whatever reasons I stopped doing art and for at least 10 years I did nothing. Um, I didn't even pick up a pencil. And it was just around St. Patrick's Day last year, 2019. I don't know why, but for some reason, well, I had a few days off work. I had a, a long weekend, so maybe three or four days off. And for some reason, I decided to um, do some painting. And I had some old acrylic paint, again, which was about 10 years old. Um, it sort of, it was okay, kind of. Um, so anyway, I did a painting and that was the first painting I'd done for a long, long time. Um, I haven't done any acrylic painting since then. I then got into watercolor painting and sort of stuck with that. And with landscape drawing and sketching, it's usually charcoal is my go-to medium. But like I say, I have these graphite blocks and some pencils, so I decided to have a go with those. Um, this would be quite a minimalist drawing. Um, the paper that I'm using is Arteza uh, sketchbook. It's a tinted paper. You can see it's slightly gray. And the final drawing is, as I say, quite minimalist. A lot of the gray paper shows through. The colors, um, there are three colors on these pencils. So the first pencil I was using, that sort of dark blue, I think the name is ink blue. Uh, this white is just called Chinese white. And then there's this earthy color, which is terracotta. To be honest, I'm not sure if Durant even still make these pencils. Um, maybe they do. This drawing, um, like a lot of the things I do, is from a mixture of imagination and memory. So I don't use any uh, reference material. And there are some advantages to doing it that way. Um, obviously, you don't need to worry about any copyright infringements. Um, it's coming out of my head rather than anybody else's photograph or image. So there's no copyright problems there. Um, I don't have to spend time trying to find uh, reference material to use or that inspires me. I just sit down with a blank piece of paper and uh, start drawing and see what happens. I think the other thing, um, or at least one other thing that's good is when you have and I think this is especially when you get started drawing. When you you have a photograph or some other visual reference or even real life, it can be very complicated. There's lots of details and things in there. And one of the tricks that you have to learn then is to simplify things. What details are you going to include? You can't include everything because uh, it'd just be impossible. So you have to try and simplify things. But when you're doing it from memory and imagination, there isn't really any simplifying to do because at best all you have is a sort of vague image inside your head. 
rather than something very detailed. As I say, this is partly from memory. Um, Ireland has lots of these derelict or semi-derelict buildings, um, old cottages all over the place. Uh, this is a scan of the final drawing. Um, I was happy with the final drawing. Um, like I said, it's quite, I guess, a bit minimalist. Uh, there's lots of just plain paper showing through. But I like that. Um, it's quite a simple and the composition I was quite happy with. OK, if you'd like to subscribe, uh, just click on the big red button below and hopefully see you in the next video.